Hi, I am Dr. G. Uday Kiran, Consultant Laparoscopic General Laser and Robotic Surgeon working at Vivekananda Hospitals, Begumpet. Today, I am here to talk to you about a very uncomfortable problem, which most of the population, close to 90 to 95 percent of the population faces, but they do not come to the doctor to talk about it. This is related to your anal canal and the anal area in general. Generally, when there is a lot of pain and uh, bleeding in the area of the anal canal or the rectum, automatically the general population assumes that it is piles. Apart from piles, there are several other conditions that can cause this problem. There are three clinical entities that we as surgeons uh, definitely look at. Uh, one is a fissure, another one is a pile and the third one is a fistula. Most of these problems result from a common condition that most of the general population faces, which is constipation. And the treatment for most of these problems is also to treat constipation primarily. A fissure is nothing but when you have a hard bout of stools and you put a lot of pressure, there is a tear in the anal canal. So when the anal canal is there and you try to push a lot of stool through it, it can only stretch to a certain extent, after which it tends to tear. That small tear gradually becomes more and more deeper until it reaches the plane where it starts paining every time the patient tries to pass tools. So that's a fissure. A fissure is mainly a condition that is extremely painful and there's very little bleed here, except for when it bleeds for the first time. Piles on the other hand are nothing but anal cushions which become enlarged or engorged due to chronic constipation and chronic pressure. Every time the patient tries to pass tools and is spending a too much time on the uh, pot, that is where uh, there's a lot of pressure being put onto the anal cushions and they tend to drag and because of gravity, they tend to become bigger and engorged. So that is a pile mass. Pile masses generally tend to bleed a lot. They don't become extremely painful until and unless they become grade three or grade four piles when they come to lie outside the anal canal, wherein they become congested, they become infective and they continue to bleed. Bleeding piles are an emergency and have to be treated immediately. Fistulas on the other hand are communicating tracts between the external orifice of the anal canal to the intestine inside. This is a little complicated uh, procedure and uh, the procedure for treating uh, fistulas is also a little complicated because the a uh, fistulous tract can form branches of its own and it may become a problem later on in life causing multiple uh, openings, external openings as well as internal openings which communicate with each other and cause frequent abscesses in the perianal region.